not the first time that the Ukrainian president goes to the front line, but it's quite significant that he's going now because uh, he is visiting all the hotspots of that counteroffensive. You've mentioned uh, his visit to the east. That's where uh, Ukrainian, uh, the Ukrainian army uh, has uh, realized some, uh, some gains, meager gains, three uh, square kilometers of land, but significant gains because they happen in uh, the direction of Bakhmut, where there's very intense uh, uh, fighting. So that was the first visit. And uh, yesterday, uh, Tuesday, there was that visit uh, to the front line uh, in the Zaporizhia region, where uh, the, the fighting is extremely intense, where the Ukrainian army uh, really finds it hard to break to the uh, lines of defense that Russia had over a year uh, to fortify. And the fact that the president is there, and uh, he's not only awarding medals, he's not only uh, here, he's also listening to his soldiers. That's what he said uh, in uh, his on his social media. He said that he understood uh, what they were saying in terms of lacking of munition, ammunition, lacking uh, equipment as well. He also uh, emphasized the need for his soldiers to get more drones because war is also happening. Uh, warfare is also happening through drones, through new uh, technologies. So overall, this is a visit where uh, he is intent on showing that he's listening to his soldiers at a moment where uh, the Ukrainian counter offensive uh, faces uh, some difficulties uh, in terms of trying to break through those uh, lines of def uh, 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 those Russian uh, lines on de of defense. And of course, this visit uh, is also aimed at uh, reassuring the Ukrainian population and showing that the government is very much in touch with its army.